everybody, happy Wednesday. So today I'm going to share with you my room tour of my new space here. It is not a large room, so this isn't going to be some extensive like tour. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually the smallest room in our house. Um, this used to be my husband's office. I believe I said that in a previous video, and he no longer works from home. He has like a place that he goes to for work now every single day, so um, he offered to give this space to me. <laughs> I used to be in our guest bedroom, which, which was right next door. So um, I'm really happy and excited to have this space to myself. I've been working up here for about a week now, and I just love having a place to um, not only do like YouTube stuff, but to also just do like my job job. So um, I just come up here, and I just feel like everything's in one place. It's organized. I'm no longer sitting at my kitchen table trying to like you know dig through client files that I have like spread out everywhere I just have a dedicated space for everything now and that is fantastic so I'm going to show you guys around the room it is by no means completely finished um there's still some artwork that I'm looking for for one of the walls in here and um you know over time people kind of discover what works and what doesn't work within a space so some things may move around but I figured for the time being this would give you guys a sense of where I record um, I know that I always kind of get nosy when I'm watching other people's videos about the background and like what's over here or what's over there so you guys will see that um, let me know if you have any questions down below I'll try to point out where I got different furniture pieces um, and if I think about it I will also try to list them down below for you so um, but nothing here is like from any fancy store. I'm not a fancy lady, so <laughs> you should be able to find most of this stuff at Ikea, actually. So anyway, um, enjoy the room tour. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so when you first come into the room, this is actually one of my favorite things in my room here. This is a um, little, I guess, looks like a watercolor that Stella got for me for, I think it was my second Mother's Day. My mom took her to a little craft show and Stella actually picked that picture out for me and then my mom took her to TJ Maxx and <laughs> Stella picked out the frame. So this is really special to me. Um, I love finally being able to like hang it up somewhere. So I have it right in the entryway to the room. Um, I don't remember the color of this paint. I believe it's from Valspar. I want to say it's called Magnet Dapple. I'll double check on that and put it in the description below. Um, I painted this room years ago, so... Um, but anyway, if you're interested in color, that's what it is. There is a closet right here where we just... Um, we just use it for storage, so there's nothing exciting in there. Um, over here, I have a little TV stand that I actually bought back when I first graduated from, um, what do you call that place? College. <laughs> and um, so now it houses some of my candles. It works perfect for that. So um, there's quite a few down here. But I'm going to be refinishing this with chalk paint in the fall, and I'm actually going to show you guys a tutorial when I do it. So you can see this is a little bit banged up, but actually that's going to be perfect because I want this piece to look a little bit more rustic um, or like weathered. So that's going to be really good. But anyway, I just use this to, I charge my phone here at night, and then I've got, this is a Sensationals warmer from uh, Walmart. Um, yeah, it's Sensationals from Walmart. So if you like it, that's where you can find it. But I've just got some extra like candle holders and stuff over here. I haven't like, I think I want to like put them in here, but I, I don't know. I just, I haven't figured out where to like store everything. Um, that is a picture of Craig and I from our engagement session with our photographer. That was taken back in like 2007. I had a fabulous hair. I went and got my hair done professionally and I really liked what they did. Uh, makes me kind of wish I still had my hair just a little bit longer, but it's not worth it for <laughs> the one time a year I would go get my hair done. Okay, over here, that is obviously a safe. Um, that has to stay in here. There's no, there's no moving it. <laughs> it weighs a ton um, and whatever, it's just in a corner. So above that, I have um, a little file thing from Ikea where I keep things that I need to file there's like a little change bucket over there. And then that's actually an owl that my husband's 
grandfather gave to him. So cut that in here because I thought it was kind of cute. And then a box right there, a little pink box that needs to go to my friend Stephanie. So I need to get my ass to the post office though. <laughs> okay, this is something new that I purchased. This is um, just an Ikea tabletop with some legs and then an Alex 5 drawer. I put this together by myself. I also put the 9 drawer together by myself and it's not difficult. It's just a little time consuming. But anyway, it's really nice to have another set of these Alex drawers because they're so handy for storage. They really are. I know you see them on everybody's channel, but it's because they work so great for storing like anything. So I use the top drawer for my like weekly beauty basket stuff. So I have it divided in these little containers that I got in the dollar section at Target. Um, they're not ideal, but um, they work for now and they were like, it was a dollar for two of them. This is what I keep. This is just another dollar basket from Target where I keep items that I wanna show in a video. So this is for another video that I'm gonna record today. And I just keep my makeup brushes out. And then all of the rest of the stuff is now in the drawers. It used to be in, you might remember that I used to use these for um, like my beauty basket stuff, but I actually like having it put away. It makes it look a little bit cleaner in here. Um, I got this light up mirror at Costco several years ago. I think they still have them from time to time. It works great. <laughs> um, the curtains are also from Ikea, but they're from a few years ago. I don't know if they still carry them. But I do really love this new vanity setup for myself. Um, it's nice because I have really great natural lighting from this window here. And I do sit on an exercise ball, so if you see me bouncing around, <laughs> that's why. So this is where I keep, I'm going to try to like not go up too high because I've got my uh, college degree hanging on the wall here. So um, I can now keep my... Uh, perfumes out because they are out of like direct sunlight. Um, I'm still not sure I'm going to keep them on top of the Alex 9 drawer, but um, it's kind of nice looking at them and it makes me more apt to wear like a different perfume every single day. This is one that I'm trying to, this is just a body spray I'm trying to use up. So, but I really do ha like having the perfume out and being able to see what I have. So, um, I have done, uh, storage and collection video before so I will link that down below this is <laughs> it's a hot mess that's the little bag I use when I go to meetings with clients so I put like samples of my work like I have a couple of books that I put together of like my flowers and stuff that I've done and my MacBook goes in that bag and that's what I use to take to meetings um there's a lamp so this is my desk this chair was actually my husband's chair in his old office it matched the furniture we used to have in here it doesn't match mine, but this is like the most comfortable chair ever. So even though it doesn't look good in here, it's staying. <laughs> um, so this is my actual like work desk now. So um, it's really great because I have all of my file folders out. So I have them kind of color coded. So all of the green striped ones are like invoices that or weddings that are in progress. And then the polka dot ones are weddings I've completed. And then I've got like receipts in that small one and then more receipts for my business in that bigger one. Receipts that need to be filed up there. <laughs> um, I've got my obligatory YouTube candle there, of course. I am burning Market Peach right now, which is fabulous. I don't know that I've ever done a formal review on Market Peach. I should. They usually re release some version of it every single year. But um, I've got my hard drive, my external hard drive here now. This is like four terabytes, which is amazing. I've got my planner. Um, it's so funny. Everybody on YouTube has these fancy like Erin Condren planners. I, I can't get into it, you guys. Like I bought this thing at Target for like $10 and it's fabulous. Um, I don't need to decorate it with stickers. I basically just write my work schedule in there. <laughs> and I use this calendar to write out my um, like video ideas for the week. So yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm not as fancy as most people are, but anyway, um, lots of storage in here for um, like books. I've got books on flowers, um, you know, just stuff that I need for work, different like um, books I can write in like ideas for, um, not only YouTube, but like personal goals and stuff. So, 
And then I'm really excited about this because I have all of like my stuff organized in here. So I know where my post-its are. I know where my stapler is. Like I know where everything is. And that's, that's fantastic. By the way, this is the Leah Torp desk from Ikea. And then, um, this is going to be ridiculous. This isn't, these are just my Yankee candles in here. Let's not actually acknowledge that. Um, and then this is what you see in the background of most of my videos. Um, this, the little table that I refinished with the chalk paint. Um, I think it turned out great. I love it. Um, so it, it looks a little bit more rustic. Chalk paint, you gotta like a more rustic look. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, I distressed the piece a little bit. Anyway, the other piece over here, I want it to turn out similarly to the way that this one did. But I just keep a Yankee candle in this holder here. And then I actually bought these for additional candle storage. I don't have any candles in there yet, but yeah, my candle collection is slightly out of control right now, but um, I'm working on whittling it down and trying to be more reasonable with future purchases. And that's it. That's my room. Um, like I said, I'm looking for a piece of artwork to go here on this wall. It's, it's a little bare, right? Um, so I want to either get a really nice big like mirror. They have these great ones from Nicole Miller at Home Goods right now, but they're like $120. <laughs> I don't know that I want to spend that much, but um, it would be nice to have something on the wall there. So I just haven't found it yet. So I'm not going to like buy something just for the sake of throwing it up. So anyway, that is my room. Um, like I said, not big, not fancy but it's my space and I love it. I love being in here and I love working in here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and you will of course see me, let me turn around, in my next video. So um, let me know if you have any questions down below. Again, I'll try to link the furniture pieces here um, so that you know where to get them at Ikea. So uh, have a great day guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.